Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's the 9th of April. It's Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, leading you around what's happening today. I've got the news as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. US equity markets overnight finished the session near neutral as bond yield just put a little downwards pressure on prices. Uh, market eyes are on big data with the CPI due out on Wednesday and the start of US earnings season at the end of the week with the big banks starting to report. And so there may be some caution there as we wait to see whether earnings justify current valuations. US futures are near neutral in the early trading day, but Asian markets are looking pretty positive, continuing on from yesterday's moves to the upside. ASX is trading up around half of 1%. European equity futures are point to a cautious but positive open at this stage. US dollar index is lower towards support. Of course, what that meant for gold is a continued move higher. It is now above somewhat staggeringly 23.30 and it looks as though we may be heading to 23.50. Copper hit a new 14-month high yesterday and is testing the important, technically significant 428 level. Paused in Asia so far. We also saw oil recover yesterday from the previous day's losses and iron a key level to the upside. Bitcoin breached an important level at 71,000. Now iron record highs again at about 73,500. Very little data out today of note. The US CPI on Wednesday is obviously the highlight for the week, but we have got significant data out towards the back end of the week across the board, as well as that start of earnings season. Let's just check in on a couple of charts that caught our eye today. We referenced Qantas yesterday as our chart of the day, and you can see there that breach of the 200 MA. We pushed through this 580 level, just need to move up a little higher. And then we think we're heading towards this 610, which would be around about a 5% move up from where we are now. Could even perhaps push ever higher towards around this 550 in the medium term. We like Qantas. We think the market does too. Really strong day yesterday and looks as though there's some follow through today. We are seeing some positivity in the Aussie yen. If we look at this 30 minute chart, you can see Two trading sessions ago, the high was 136. We can see there we are testing this in today's trading already. We're already over yesterday's high. And look as though we may be eyeing this 10.55 level, which is the next pivot. If this gets some momentum, we could see it up to 186, which would be a 50 pip move from where it is now. We think this is worth watching over the rest of the day for a potential breach of that important level. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.